what's going on you guys today is sunday and i will be cooking a nice little mini thanksgiving feast for my son it's really for my family but it was inspired by my son because earlier the week he texted me saying ma i miss you cooking can you please make me some food and i was like ah he needs me <laughs> so i was super duper excited because my son is like really a grown-ass man and you know when he asks me for something, I can't help but to, you know, come running because, again, he's grown and he don't ask mommy for anything. So, guys, come on along with me on my cooking journey and see what I'm making today. Peace. Okay, guys. So, like I said, I'm doing chicken, um, whole chicken. So, I got two here. I got the bigger one is for me and my little tribe and the little one is for my son. It's just him and his girlfriend. I figure they can eat off of this for about two days. Who knows? You know, they smoke that little tree, so it might be going in one day. But what I do is this has set overnight in kosher salt and lemon juice. So let me put a little more. Although it's set overnight in it, I still like to clean my chicken. I clean all my meat and lemon juice and kosher salt, except for my beef, because you don't want to get rid of all your juices with that. But I'm just going to sit this out for another hmm, half an hour just to let everything soak in. And, um, you know, we'll come back to that because we got to season it and do all the things. I also, the other meat I have today is turkey butt. So my turkey butt, I will be boiling that to get it nice and soft so that I can put it in the pot because this is going to be cooked with my potatoes and my string meat. So I'll be back. Meanwhile, before I get to cutting up and doing all my stuff, I said, let me make my cornbread for my stuffing because this needs to completely be nice and warm and stuff so I can crumble it up into my cornbread stuffing. And so this is what I make, um, a small pan of cornbread. Again, with some, oh, oh, the belly is out. So anyway, um, again, with that, some, um, some bread crumbs and all the rest of my ingredients you'll see later, that will be my stuffing. So give me a second and I'll be back. Okay, so while my um, cornbread is um, sitting, getting warm, my chicken is just um, soaking up the lemon juices and everything, I'm just going to take the time now to peel my sweet potato. Again, I have, this is just a bag, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It was an eighth one there, but it's kind of small, so I'm just going to say seven. So we got seven sweet potatoes here, and I'm getting little league about to peel the skin off because then after that, I am going to um, cut them up in, um, in circles. Some people like to mush there. Some people like to cut it in squares. I kind of like the mini circles. Um, and I I don't like to boil them. I just like to straight bake. So it's going to be hot as a mug in this house. In this kitchen anyway. And um, uh, that's why I said let me start early. So you know, we won't be torching the kids today. I'm just taking like that so and you're gonna do all of your um, sweet potatoes the same way you're just gonna really just um, peel them even though I know y'all see that big ass garbage can in the back of me I don't like to have increasing garbage so literally I use plastic bags all day even though I have garbage cans all around this house but I'm a stickler for leaving garbage around i just don't like it so literally this big garbage can behind me has nothing in it it's just an encaser <laughs> sounds a little silly but it's the truth anyway you know just to keep it moving so i'm gonna have to be doing this and doing that so again 
as so. And you're just gonna do all of them like that. You definitely want to have them nice and orange and beautiful like this. So you definitely want to have them rinsed and beautiful looking like this. After that, we are just going to cut them, as I said, in little, little circles. Not too thin, but not too thick. Because when you do... When you bake them, you want them to be a nice little, you want them to be nice little circles. And honey, I'm gonna coat the pan. You'll see what it's gonna look like, what it's giving. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and do that with all of them. I definitely could use a better knife because this thing but you know sweet potatoes are kind of thick anyway so this knife is not a bad knife but i wish i had like one of them emeralds where you don't even hear this or maybe you do i don't know but again i'm gonna go ahead and transfer them into another bowl <laughs> as I'm cutting them. Oh, this is going a lot smoother. Okay guys, so this is what they look like when they are finished. So now I'm gonna show you everything that I put in my sweet potatoes and my um my candied sweet potato yams. I don't know what you want to call it. It's not yams, they're sweet potatoes, so it's a little different. But literally I put everything but the kitchen sink in them for that great, great taste. So let's start with some melted butter. I'm gonna Spread that evenly. I got one stick, one whole stick. And most of it is um, melted, but if it's not, it's no big deal because they're all gonna cook the same. We want that in there real nice and even. I'll be doing this again anyway, so I'm just showing you. The next thing I'm putting in my yams is some cinnamon. So I sprinkled a nice amount over here nice amount just want you to see what it look like okay I'm also gonna put some nutmeg in there now nutmeg you don't need a whole lot because it's very strong and you don't want you don't want a nutmeggy taste <laughs> okay so I put some vanilla abstract in mine now this I'm going to put, um, y'all, y'all know I'm bad at measuring. This is way big, so don't think I'm putting this big old thing in there. But I am going to put a nice amount. And after I taste it, if I need more, then I'll put more. And I'm going to just sprinkle that. That's definitely not enough for me, so I'm going to put a little bit more. But again, if after I taste everything, if I think I need more, I'll put more. A lot of people don't. Me, I use a little orange abstract. 
Uh, I didn't have a lot of this anyway, so which is good because you don't need a lot. Just kind of like shaking a little bit on there. And I also use lemon abstract. Guys, all these tastes together is really phenomenal for your yams or your sweet potatoes. So I like them all. So I put them all in here. Okay, again, I don't go crazy. And I put it in here. The next thing I'm doing is putting some brown sugar. You want a nice amount of brown sugar. I'm done with this bag. I got another one. telling you I put everything but the kitchen sink in them but I'm telling you guys after it's all said and done honey that taste is amazing 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 and then last but not least oh no it's another one but put some regular sugar in there now I don't do a whole lot of sugar because I have already killed it with the brown sugar so I'm done with that the last thing I put in mine is a couple of cloves. Just a couple. And when I say a couple, I do mean a couple. You just want to kind of decorate that with that. Anyway, I'll deal with that later. Alright, so then after that, I'm literally just going to get all this in there together mix it so that it looks evenly coated throughout Just so I can get an even schmeal, I'm just going to coat this and have it a little bit with some water. And then I'm just going to evenly mix this a little more. After that is when I'm going to taste it because I'm going to have a feel of what it's going to taste like once all the juices cook into this thing Guys, the juices, the flavors are awesome, but I honestly think I need more sugar, believe it or not. So, what I'm going to do is just sprinkle more sugar. No big deal. And I just coat it with a little more. 
once it looks like this, I will let it sit, let all this greatness soak in before I put it in the oven because I have more stuff that I need to cook, um, cut up and stuff. And I kind of want to bake all my stuff together. So I'm just going to sit this side to side. I'll be back for this. So guys, I'm on to the next step. I am peeling potatoes now because this is what I'm going to cut it to cube to put into my string beans. Okay, so again, as I did the sweet potatoes, I'm going to peel these as well. But again, these are cut into cubes because they will be featured with my string beans. And guys, look, I didn't cut up string beans. I didn't get the, um, the fresh ones. I got the frozen because um, I don't know. I just didn't feel like all that. But it's still going to taste the same. It's just that you don't need to cook it as long. So what I'm doing is I'm I'm doing my um, turkey butt now. It has been on the stove cooking. And once I cut these into cubes, I'm just going to simply add these, my potatoes in there. And the last thing I need to add, will need to add, is the string beans. So, um, you know, just hang tight and watch my work guys I, I wish i had a bigger kitchen but guess what i'm old school you know i come from a one bedroom apartment okay it was big it was a big apartment because it had a big dining room and living room and you know my grandmother raised five kids in that one bedroom okay with along with my mother okay and we made it work but I still just remember her home cook, her home cooking. And I say it often because that's something that you don't see anymore. And it's something that I truly, truly miss. And I try to hold on to it as much as I can and just mimic my grandmother. But this is what my grandmother did every Sunday. You know, she prepared on Saturday and cooked all Sunday for us to be able to eat all week okay because whatever you know she cooked enough to last at least until thursday because on friday we did fish and potatoes or fried chicken and potatoes it was truly a routine but it was a treat it was just i look i still looked forward to it you know if she didn't feel like cooking once in a while and that and i do mean once in a while we would probably have like um no I can't even no I'm lying if I even say pizza was ever delivered to my house because it wasn't I can't even say McDonald's was ever in my house because it wasn't I can't even say Chinese was ever in my house because it simply wasn't my grandmother just cooked and I'm sorry for those who never experienced that but I did and it was truly a treat okay so I put it in some water so I could just you know rinse all the shook 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 and jives off so again, I am going to make cut these in half, cut them down the middle. Uh -uh. Another half cubes, simple. I don't need them too small and I don't need them too big. Just simple. This one, I'm going to do three cubes, but that's what they're looking like, my cubes. Okay, this one, I'm going to do a little different. Here, down the middle, one, two, cubes. That's what I'm doing for all these potatoes, because that is going to accent my string beans and my turkey butt. All right, and let's see. Oh, okay. <laughs> and that's what we doing on a Sunday. 
you know, when I think about it, sometimes, I'm not going to lie, I will be lying if I say I didn't get a little sad because my life has changed, guys. It really has. It has gone from being the it girl, being the popular girl, being the most desirable girl to literally just being a mom and a partner and like you know my phone don't ring no more you know people ain't asking me let's go hang out the guys ain't calling me like bitch i need a ring a wing girl you know because i was once that chick and i'm not anymore and sometimes you know my memories serve me well and i get to thinking like wow what happened to those days but when i think about that life and the beauty, the beauty of life is the fact that we all have to one day grow up, you know. And wait a minute, guys, because this might break. This might be a little big, but you know, we have to one day grow up. Cause one day, this this is a little big, guys. So I'm just going to go down a minute because I don't need it big like that. But anyway, one day our kids are going to be looking at us and requiring some things requiring that you know that motherly vibe not that friend you know they don't need that all the time sometimes they just need us to be parents and that's it they got friends they gonna have friends just like we did you know we ain't look to our mothers to be our friends you know and i'm grateful for my change it took me by surprise because i don't think i was ready for it you know when it first came along I, i'm pretty sure i know i wasn't but i am now and i love it no i don't look the same anymore and when i look at myself in the mirror sometimes i get fucking depressed sorry i don't mean to curse but but then i quickly come back because I think about my children. I look at my children the way they and how beautiful and tall and beautiful they're growing. And I'm like, this is why. This is why. So all right, enough of that. But <laughs> I'll be back. Okay. So this time I had to sit down because I just been up just way too long. So now I'm going to cut up my cheeses for my macaroni and cheese. See look look at the garbage y'all and I you know y'all seen the big garbage bag that I had, pail that I had, and for some reason, I just don't even want that in there. So, once I'm finished um, cutting up everything, I'm going to take that garbage out and start fresh with another one. I will probably use about two bags. Guys, this is my macaroni and cheese, what I use. I use mild cheese. I use sharp cheese. Now, this difference, it varies every time I go because to me, well, I only, I will buy the cheese that's on sale. Sometimes it might be Gouda. Sometimes it might be Monterey Jack. This time it's the Empire Jack. So this is what I'm going to use. This is my special cheese that I use. After that, because I use a, a total of five cheeses, guys. So again, I got the sharp, the mouth. This is my special, my Jack. And then I have cream cheese and sour cream. This, um, I've seen this. This is Wisconsin sharp cheddar. So I think I'm going to do half and half um, just to see because I never tasted that before. So, um, you know, I'm going to put that to the side. But, however, again, that's the cheeses that I make. With, with my mac and cheese. That's what I like. So I'm just going to take this and cut them up in cubes. I'll show you once I'm finished. And let me tell you, on, um, around Thanksgiving, this is usually what my mom would do. And you got to see me when I'm watching her cut the cheese because if it ain't right, I'll stop her and she'll be looking at me through her glasses like why the freak does it matter it's all gonna melt into 
the macaroni. It does matter of how it melts, mom. It matters. So, this is my little craziness. You can see. <laughs> Whatever. That's what I like. And this is how I like it. And so, I'm going to show you right now what it looks like. It looks like this. And then I go down the middle. Let me go. Let me come a little closer so y'all can see. I go down the middle. Yup. I'm extra as hell when it comes to my mac and cheese. It got to be perfectly blocked. Because it only melts better that way. And then we do some box. Like so. And this is what your box is going to look like. And if they're not perfect, I will have a shit fit. And I'm sorry, that's just the way I cook. That's why I don't really ask for help. And I think I was, my grandmother was like that too because I never helped my grandmother do none of this in the kitchen. This is something she did on her own because she had a method to her madness as well. And she didn't want us in her way. And I really think I'm like that as well. Um, the difference is though, when my children, um, after a while, well, someone's already learning. But after a while, I'm going to have them watch me. Now, I don't know if I'm a good teacher, but if they can watch what mommy do and then taste the, and the results, they'll mimic. That's the difference I'm going to do. <laughs> That's the best that I can do. So, again, I am just cutting up my cheeses. And laying them out for little squares. Now... Also, um, I almost forgot that, and I'm glad I remembered. So, I'll take this, this little block right here, and I'll save this because I'm going to shred this because that needs to go on top. Every last one of them, I will take a little block of that and shred it because it needs to layer on top. So, I, didn't, I meant to, you know, I almost forgot that, but I'm glad I remembered. So, stay tuned. <laughs> Okay, I'm on my last cheeses. <sighs> Let me tell you, cooking is not made to be fast. It's love and joy. That's where the taste coming at. When you're cooking things fast and just putting things together, you're not really into it. You're not really paying attention to all the spices and all the love. You want people, other people to taste and you want to taste yourself. And you know, you take your time with cooking. I I mean, there are meals that is quick that I do, but when I'm ready to really get down and dirty with it, I want to take my time. I can't speed through nothing. I gotta make sure everything is correct. You know, everything is tasting right. You know, and people who in restaurants and food that I taste, you know, I can I can taste that. I can taste the effort that people put into their meals. You know, that's what I like to taste. The effort. It's all about the effort. Again, here go my three cheeses. This is my my um mal, my shark, my jack. Um, I'm still fighting with this one, y'all. I don't know if I want to do that one yet. Um, something is telling me to do some of it. But, um, I don't know. Wisconsin sharp cheddar. I don't know. I'm going to leave that alone for a minute. Let's see how it looks. All right, guys. So, I have finished cutting up. 
my cheese. <laughs> Literally. My little blocks. That's my cheese, and then um, that's gonna be on top. Um, I'm gonna be honest, this don't look like enough cheese to me for a pan. So I am gonna do that cheese. Look at that. See, I made the decision. <laughs> so right now, I am just um, grating my cheeses. You know? And this is just, you know, this is the way I make my mac and cheese. Now, there are people that got many different ways, different ways they do it. Some people might look at this and say this is way too much or not enough or they might have different ways. But at the end of the day, that's fine. This is not a competition. Really, it's not. It's just different ways that people cook. Now, um, let me tell you, I watch a lot of people's recipes and a lot of things I try different and apply it to my own like wow that's that looks good let me try that you know it's not about a competition i'm gonna be honest with you guys i don't like competing it's enough room in the air for everyone it's that's a lot of um unnecessary pressure for me and i just never been the type to compete i just never now people have tried to compete with me that's another story but i've never been looking at a person i'm gonna do better than that I'm, you know now if i taste your food and i don't like it yeah i will say you know i cook my shit better than that i will say that but i'm not trying to actually compete with nobody doing contests i'm just the same way you guys give me different ways of looking at things i'm doing the same giving you different ways to cook and again you might try mine and love it i might try yours and love it make sure you can see that white <laughs> you just want a little bit of it because it's all going to turn yellow when you got the way so it's not like you want to really see it but this is the shredded part portion that will go on top of the mac and guys, I'm not making a big pan. It's a, it's a medium pan. So this is more than enough. That's my mac and cheese. Okay, guys. I'm sorry. I had to... Sh I was whimpering a little bit because I'm watching John Lewis's funeral. I mean, his memorial. And it's very heartbreaking and joyous at the same time. But let's just get back to... Um, this is my chicken now. Oh, nice. All the nooks and crannies is off this chicken. This chicken is nice and clean. Let me back up a little bit so y'all can actually see. This chicken is nice and clean. And now I am going to season it. Now, seasoning is not for everybody. A lot of people like light seasoning, dark seasoning. I like seasoning. I like to taste things. So I combine all my little seasonings i have some badia seasoning salt i have some italian dress um italian seasoning i have onion powder i have garlic powder i have parsley um and that's it oh and pepper of course pepper so after i have combined all this together i'm literally going to rub this baby together and then i'm going to put some little chunks of um little chunks of butter just to get it a savory and then after that i am going to stuff my bird with stuffing and i'm going to take you on a journey of how i'm doing that as well so stay tuned again let me turn this baby around so y'all can see what it's giving this right here is going to be full of stuff and you see how nice and clean that is that comes from the kosher salt and the lemon you don't want to see a whole bunch of fat and you see the yellow grime on this chicken well you don't see it now because i cleaned it it is very important that you clean your meats before you cook so stay tuned and let's just see what it's looking like so i have seasoned my birds all right they're nice and seasoned. When I say nice and seasoned, all this is going to go into 
the, the bird and just be so beautiful when it comes out um the last thing i'm going to put but i'm going to wait until i put it in the pan is i'm just going to spread little pieces of butter see it had to i needed to be nice and soft so i'm gonna spread little pieces and then i am going to start my stuffing um once i start my stuffing i'll stuff my bird and then i'll put her in the oven so just be you know stay tuned sit tight i know it's taking it's a little lengthy but cooking is lengthy and you you guys don't understand how i'm cutting and peeling and slicing and dicing i'm slicing my onions and my celery so that i can put it into my stuffing so uh you know i'm taking my time with this um, I don't know what time it is. What time is it? Oh, it is 12.26. I started this at literally 9, 9.30. And so this is where I'm at right now. <laughs> okay, so stay tuned. Okay, guys. Look, I'm getting nasty and nasty. So, all right. So, now I am doing my stuffing. As you can see, I have my cut up onions and my celery. This right here is the gizzards the liver and the neck bone that you find inside of the chicken you never throw that away because this right here is all the ingredients you need for a great great stuffing so what i'm going to do is cut all this shit up I'm, i don't know why i'm cursing like that anyway i'm going to cut all this up in nice little fine pieces and that's going to go into my sauce right now as you can see i am let me just show you what i'm doing I am uh, melting my butter and I'm going to add my onions and my celery to that. While I'm doing that, I am going to start cutting up my meat so I can add that as well. Now, this is boiled because I actually boiled that in the pot with my turkey, um, with my turkey butts. And I used chicken broth along with whatever juices the turkey had made from the water and the juices and once the turkey started to get tender and stuff it started creating its own juices so i added a little bit of that once i put my um my gizzards my liver and my um my chicken um chicken neck in there and i let that boil so that's still boiling because after that I am going to take some of that and put it in my stock for my stuffing. And then I have more. I have another one of these. I'm going to put more in there. And then I'm that's when I'm going to put my potatoes in there and start that. Guys, it is not a game up in this kitchen. And you will see why I say that. Give me a second. Okay. So, after you have brutalized your... <laughs> your chicken bones and your um, gristle and your liver and have really just like, you can't even grind it anymore. This is what it's gonna look like. Um, I don't know if you can hear the sizzling, but I'm going to add this into my chicken stock. I mean, my um, celery and onion. Okay. Look, I'm I'm picking out more meat, honey. I want to get all the meat you can possibly get out there. Okay. I really have done this dirty. Okay. Um. After that, I'm just gonna take my um my little thing and just stir that in there. But now. That's how that's looking. So now I'm going to do one better. I am going to add some of this stock. I need you guys to see what I'm talking about here. This stock with my turkey bone. I'm just going to add a little bit of that up in here. here 
this my friend will be added to your stuffing now you're gonna need more which is fine you can add as you go along but I want you guys to see the finishing touch of your cornbread stuffing. Now again, guys, I mix this with cubes, but this is my cornbread that I smushed up in here that I baked earlier. All that is going to go in here, which is going to make a banging stuffing. But let's not forget one ingredient you always want to add to this is bell seasoning. Now I sprinkle mine. In my bread some people do it different you know to each his own however you it however you get it done is how you get it done you know everybody will always have their own style to everything that they do this is just my style your bell seasoning you want to just sprinkle some of that all over here guys this is a little That's it. Once I add all that to this, I gotta show you what it looks like. And then you stuff that baby into your bird, banging stuffing, okay? Okay guys, I have mixed my, um, I have mixed my, um, my seasonings, my, um, onions my garlics my onion um my celery and all that with the meat inside into this stuffing this is my stuffing that i am going to literally put inside my chicken it's going to get nice and brown um I did taste it. It's freaking delicious. Um, this is my cornbread stuffing right here. I'm just going to tie all this together. And this is what it looks like. Now, once I stuff this, it's probably going to take half. So the rest of it will be in a small little, I have a like a little square pan that I put in as, um, you know, like extra stuffing because my family do like stuffing. So they'll all have extra stuffing in case they can't get the crevices of the chicken, <laughs> you know, the stuffing in the chicken. But this is what my stuffing looks like. Again, once I stuff this baby, You guys really will see what it is giving, honey. This is how you make homemade stuffing. I don't do the box. But... And that's it. Again, you got to do your bell pepper. You put a little bit of sugar. I put a little bit of sugar in here. I do want y'all to know that. And I also, um, before I added all this, I put a little more Italian dressing, um, Italian seasoning in here just to give it a little bit of oomph. And this is what it is. Now I'm going to stuff my bird and put it, her in the oven. Stay tuned. Okay. We're done. At 12.50. This will be done by 4. Give or take. And then it will be done by 6. I'm going to put this up in the pot now. I mean, the uh, stove now. And let it do what it do. I have stuffed both chickens to the extreme, honey. Okay? I have all my juices, all my seasonings. And we're going to look at this when it comes out, what it's given. After sitting for a minute and letting the juices settle on into these potatoes, I'm also going to put these in the stove now. Let these cook for about maybe two hours we'll see okay so i let my potatoes cook for a minute 
with my um, turkey butt. This is what I got so far. You see how that turkey butt does spread of its wings, honey? I'm gonna add my um, string beans to this and just let this simmer on down, okay? Okay, guys, I added my string beans. I also added some, um, some garlic, some onion, salt and pepper. That's it, just a little. I added some pieces of onion, diced up onion. Some, um, I have minced garlic already. You know, I ain't need to cut that up. I already have that with some onions and peppers. And we gonna, huh, let's just do what we do, okay? Right. Last but not least, we're doing our mac and cheese. Now, right now, I got my pot of water boiling. You need to boil that water before you add them noodles. Um, Barilla. I need to see creases. I don't like slippery noodles. That's just me. If you do, you know, to each his own. I've had good mac and cheese with slippery noodles, so don't get it twisted with the slipperies. But I just prefer the ridges. So that's just me. So I'm just gonna clean up a little bit because uh, my kitchen is a wreck a little something, something. So I'm gonna clean up while this is boiling and I'm gonna add my noodles. And the last but not least, so you're gonna see how I create that mac and cheese for my finishing touches to my mini Thanksgiving meal for my kitties. Peace. So I am just, um, Stirring my pot for my uh, my string beans and potatoes. Let me tell you, ain't nobody make this like grandma. I know she'd be, if she was hearing me right now, she'd be like, stop sweating me. I can't help it, lady, because you was the truth. And people just didn't understand it. Okay. So, <laughs> my, um... My pot, as you can see, is boiling. I am going to add my noodles now. And I'll be back. I'll be back. Okay. I am almost done. My last but not least is my macaroni. I have sauteed my, I mean, boiled my noodles. I am now adding, shit. I am now adding my butter. One stick. This is a medium pan. You know what? Not gonna even lie, y'all. I need more than one stick. So I did conjure up a backup plan. I have some melted butter here that I'm gonna put in. Yep, mm-hmm. Cause I, I like mine's good. I'm sorry. You know what? Let me put a little bit more up in here. All right, there we go. After that, I'm adding my eggs. I got three eggs, guys. Three eggs that is going to nicely complement this macaroni and cheese. I am going to mix that as well. Nice and good. I got my cream cheese. I had it out the whole time, so it is literally... Look at that. Nothing. I'm just going to mix that around in here. This is how I like my mac and cheese. And you can ask anybody who's tasted. A lot of people have tasted my mac and cheese. Very, very good. So to each his own, however you do yours. I want all of that. This is what I didn't get. I'm getting it all, y'all. Okay. I'm going to mix that up in there. I want that evenly around. Then I got my sour cream. You only need a little bit of this. You don't need a lot. I'll tell you. 
This is what I'm starting with, guys. Again, you don't need a lot of that. So there's no need to, if you're making a pan like this, you don't need to buy a whole lot, a big one. See that? I'm gonna take a little bit more, like literally a little bit. Just so every piece of my noodle got it. You got to see how this looks. Okay. After that, I am going to do my pepper. Now, it doesn't matter the order in which you start to season your stuff. Don't pay attention to how I season it. Season how you want. A lot of people do salt. I do a little seasoning salt. Sorry. I just like flavor. I don't do a lot. That's it. I also do a cup full of sugar. That's it. That is my flavoring. Okay. After that, let me close this up. After that is all done, I am going to, I'm going to stir this up, but I'm also about to add my cheeses. Now, remember, I cut up all my cheeses before. I have to add all these blocks up in here. Up in here, up in here. See what I'm doing right now? And I am going to stir that in. Nice and even. Nice and even. Let me show you what it's looking like. Let me relax because I'm freaking dropping stuff all over the place. Um, that. Because let me tell you something. When this thing soaks into... Girl. This is a mac and cheese that you will appreciate. What is that? It's a big old block that dance won't separate. Okay. Oh, here go lined up. Uh-uh, you gotta separate them blocks. Separate the blocks. If you see something that's looking a whole block, separate it, okay? Okay. Now, after that, last but not least, I am doing my half and half. That's not the actual milk, guys. That's the water from the chill. Now, when you make, when you put this in here, that ain't enough. You need that milk to cover your mac and cheese like you need to see it up at the top okay that's when you know after everything is good and cooked and done it's gonna be good you don't need no dry ass macaroni and cheese i know i don't i don't like it now i'm about to show you what it should be looking like at the end of the day let me just settle that on there y'all something that is chunked not right all right now let me just show y'all that was two or you could do a whole one whatever you want to do i did two and it's just a small i mean this is a medium so let me see if you can see that you see that milk can you see the milk? The milk is not over the mac and cheese, but it's right there to where you can see it. That's what you want. Last but not least, 
you want to take that shredded that I did at the end, 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 right here, mm-hmm, and just topple that on top. Now, again, whoever make this different, God bless you, man. If your family loves it, then I love it. I like it, you know? If their family like it, I love it. My family loves this. So this is what I do. You see how that was just enough? Now you see I did the three packs. Actually, I did four. I ain't gonna lie. Because I just wanted to see what that last cheese was going to get. But usually I only do three, guys. I just was showing off today. Them two, them little squares that I did with that block. That's your mac and cheese. Now, what I'm going to do. I'm going to take a little pepper, just spread it over, just a little, crack it, nothing a lot, a little bit. I'm also going to take some parsley and some paprika. Some parsley, uh -huh. just sprinkle it over. This is really for decoration, more or less. It looks better. And a little, I mean, and I mean a little, paprika. You do not have to have a red mac and cheese. So, this is what it is giving at the end of the day. I'm going to cover this baby, throw that in the oven. I am done, guys. I am done. And I'll see you later so you can see what my dinner consisted of this Sunday afternoon. Peace. I am done. I am done. Done, done, done. One and done. 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 I think my son would be happy with this. What do y'all think? Peace, guys.